hope everybody's doing good today. It's a nice day out today and sunny, but it's much colder than it has been the past few days. It was like in the 60s and higher, uh, you know, upper 60s, I think it was. Anyway, it was like 21 this morning. I don't know exactly what it is right now, but it's cool now still. Okay, on our prayer request today, uh, Remember Michael Murphy had surgery on his esophagus, and uh, Teresa's husband Zach needs prayers, and Ronald Ford needs continued prayers, and uh, Jennifer has unspoken prayer requests, and Tumbleweed's daughter Sarah um, prayers that her meds work and would it change around and good test results, and, and Angela Garcia asked for continued prayers also. Dear Heavenly Father, I'm going to pray for each and every one on the prayer list today. I hope that they all get better. But if there's anybody else out there that needs prayer, please, please answer that prayer. Okay. I'm about to run out of paper. I've been kind of moving slow today. Stomach was bothering me until uh, an hour or so ago. Uh, today our Bible reading comes from Deuteronomy 31, 1 through 8. Then Moses went out and spoke these words to all Israel. I am now 120 years old, and I am no longer able to lead you. The Lord said to me, You shall not cross the Jordan, the Lord your God himself will cross over ahead of you. You will destroy these nations before you, and you will take possession of their land. Joshua also will cross over ahead of you, as the Lord said. And the Lord will go to them, will do to them what he did to Sihon and Og, the kings of the Amorites, whom he destroyed along with their land. The Lord will deliver them to you, and you must do to them what, all that I have commanded you. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Then Moses summoned Joshua and said to him in the presence of all Israel, Be strong and courageous, for you must go with these, this people into the land that the Lord swore to their ancestors to give them. And you must divide it among them as their inheritance. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Amen. There we go. Okay. Our devotions today are entitled Standing with Courage. While most German church leaders gave in to Hitler, theologian and pastor Martin Neimoller was among the brave souls who resisted Nazi evil. I read a story describing how in the 1970s a group of older Germans stood outside a large hotel while what appeared to be a younger man bustled about with the group's luggage. Someone asked who the group was. German pastors came to answer, and the younger man that's Martin Neimoller. He's 80, but he has stayed young because he is unafraid. Neimoller wasn't able to resist fear because he possessed some superhuman anti-fear gene, but because of God's grace. In fact, he had once held anti-Semitic views, but he had rep repented and God restored him and helped him speak and live out the truth. Moses encouraged the Israelites to resist fear and follow God in truth. When they... They'd become fearful after learning Moses would soon be taken from them. The leader had an unflinching word for them. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified, for the Lord your God goes with you. There was no reason to tremble before an uncertain future because of one reason. God was with them. Whatever darkness looms for you, whatever terrors bombard you, God is, there, is with you. By God's mercy, may you face your fears with the knowledge that God will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen.
Amen. Oh. Okay, now let's see if we can... I felt like taking a nap early. I just started kind of nodding off watching TV and getting things ready. But if I take a nap, it seems like when I wake back up, it's like I can never get, get with it after that or something. So I just stay awake. Why has eight, what has, <clears throat> excuse me, I still got some congestion going on. What has 18 legs and catches flies? A baseball team. I got it, I got it. <laughs> uh, what's black, red, black, red, black, red? A zebra with a sunburn. I am a master of fast calculations. Okay, what is 758 times 642 divided by 5? 22. Ha ha, that's wrong. Might be, but it was fast. <laughs> One morning, my wife asked our four-year-old son, Judd, what he wanted for breakfast. Soup, he said. Son, we don't eat soup for breakfast. We eat soup for lunch. So what would you like for breakfast? Lunch, he replied. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's a lot worse things that he could eat besides soup. Let's put it that way. Okay. Yeah, a bowl of soup's a lot better for you than a bowl of uh, Fruit Loops. <laughs> okay. Uh, where am I at? Okay. Three seniors are out for a stroll. One of them remarks, uh, It's windy. Another replies, uh, No way, it's Thursday. The last one says, Me too, let's have a soda. Ooh. How'd they even get that far? Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? The electrician. The electrician who? The electrician who you, you called earlier. I understand you've been having some problems with your doorbell. <laughs> uh. Knock, knock. Who's there? Terrible English teacher. Terrible English teacher who? It's whom? <laughs> How many people can fit in a beach? Thousands and thousands. Okay. Thank you, student loans, for getting me through college. I don't think I can ever pay you back. Mm. Oh, the first joke about the, uh, the baseball team was Joy's joke of the day. And this is last joke of the day. My neighbor, a tailor, has a new job. I asked him how much he enjoyed it. He said, it's so-so. So-so. <laughs> so-so. Okay, now. Everyone, it is time for Who is this? Yeah. Okay. Yesterday, if y'all listen a little closely, I accidentally said his first name. It's Robert Wagner. Big controversy over how Natalie Wood died. I think they're, they're, they might be going back to investigate it again. And uh, who was it I said was with him when it happened? He, Christopher Walken, which we showed on Who Is This a few uh, little while ago, was with him when she drowned on the off that boat. And so, and he was also in It Take It Takes a Thief. It was a very popular series back in the day, and uh, yeah, 
He's been in, you know, movies and stuff, but nothing super major, I don't think. Okay, and Roseanne Barr, you know, didn't have a very good picture of her young. But, yeah. What do y'all think about the new series? It's not the same, really, is it? You know, it's just not the same. But, you know, there's a big mess. So. You know how these, they got to do what they got to do, I guess. But I don't think it's quite the same. It's still pretty funny, though. But it, it, it's totally different to me in a way. Okay, now I'm going to show you some. I don't know how it got all the way down there. but um, And guess in the comments who you think this is, and I'll show the grown-up version tomorrow. This one here, obviously uh, Joy couldn't find a young picture. I mean, you know, a, a childhood picture of this first one. But it's a young picture of him in his show and then i can show you an older picture of him in the same show but anyway y'all know what i'm talking about here in a minute he was daniel boone in the tv series daniel boone was a man it's a big man yeah watched every one of them i watched every one of them i bet five times but that was early in the show. You see, notice how his hat looks. Yeah. That is as young as, as we could find. There may be one somewhere out there floating around. But And this one. No way. Wait a minute. Okay. I, got, I was looking at the wrong one. I said, that can't be her. Okay. Here we go. This one here. She uh, is a famous singer, and she's the daughter of Judy Garland. She was in a few movies, but nothing that, you know, comes to memory. I know she was in one that was, it's a really old movie that did good, but I don't think she ever, you know, did much in movies. Okay, so, guess who it is in the comments. Okay, now, and now it's tablet time, tablet time. Okay, let me see what's up here. Okay, I showed that, I remember that. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I remember that, and I remember that. Oh, okay. Last night we had the Nathan's Hot Dogs, and you know, I showed you those, um, Hawaiian hot dog buns. We had some, just like the can of chili sauce. I think this one was from Food Line, but we don't shop there much. We've had it for a while, but we used it. And tater tots. And this is French onion dip with cucumbers. And there's some avocado under there too. But the Nathan's beef hot dogs, I had Nathan the I had some of that chili sauce and mustard and we didn't have any I can't eat fresh onions anyway that are raw, but we had some of the dehydrated ones that are real little, kind of like the ones that's on the McDonald's burgers. You know, the regular cheeseburger or whatever, the regular hamburger. And they're you they're dehydrated, and you just put some water in them and let them rehydrate some. And they're so small, I was able to put some of them on there. But they're not quite the same, you know, as, a, as regular onion, which I miss badly, but I can't eat it. And the French onion dip there was really good. With uh, That was from Aldi, only 99 cents for a tub of it. And the, those were the tater tots we got from Walmart. And I put some Hidden Valley seasoning on the tater tots and they were really good and that way i didn't have to you know they're normally i might put some salt on them or something but they are already a little bit salty so i didn't put any salt on them, just that hidden valley stuff and it was really good then this morning uh joy fixed some excuse me i showed y'all the biscuits from walmart in the, in the hall the other day and we hadn't tried any of them in a long time because they're uh, they're cheaper at Aldi. They're only ninety nine cents, and I think they were a dollar thirty eight for the canned biscuits at at Walmart. And 
she fixed some today and with and made a sausage egg and cheese biscuit for me and fixed Logan one too. It was really good. Really, really good. And the biscuit was good too. You can tell it rose up pretty good. Lots of times on canned biscuits, they don't rise up very much, but these did a pretty pretty good job of rising. Uh Okay, I showed, here we go, cartoon time, <laughs> I'll be back between 2 and 5 on Wednesday, but it might be more like Thursday or next week sometime, carpenter ants, <laughs> No, this is funny too. I started off small, kids. Here a quack, there a quack, but pretty soon I was, it was everywhere a quack quack. Quack addict. Addict. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. This is funny. I don't have to make this one bigger. Basically, it comes down to your lack of maturity and your refusal to deal with your problem. La, 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 I can't hear you. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think we got a bonus one or something today. Let's have to make bigger. Grandpa, if you had period after, uh, a period after you text something, it comes across as aggressive. Oh, in our day, we used to put a period after every sentence. We called it good grammar. Don't listen to your grandpa. He sometimes says crazy things. <laughs> yeah, I think this next one, I'm sure. No, it's not that one, but there's another one that kind of goes with it. This says, look, a Russian hacker just posted the note that Jimmy is passing to Keisha. <laughs> Can Kindergarten. <laughs> and this one kind of goes with the other, with the old guy. In my day, we didn't have twittering. We had twiddling. That's right. We twiddled our thumbs, and we liked it. We liked it fine. <sighs> oh, gosh. I think that might be it, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought I had another uh, picture of something or other, but I don't see it. I don't see it. So, anyway, uh, tonight I've got some ground turkey out. Once, well, you know, been, it's been thawing in the fridge. I don't know. I talked about maybe fixing um, my barbecue meatloaf. Uh,. Well, it's not my recipe. It's actually from Thriftastic Mom. She, it says uh, meatloaf with box stuffing or something on her, on the title. But uh, I call it barbecue meatloaf. I've made it so much now, it's really good. And you can't tell, you can't tell with this that, it, that it's turkey. I, I mean, I can't. Uh, maybe I'm just used to it, but it tastes really good, y'all. And it doesn't matter if you make it with beef or turkey. You know, whatever your taste to is to. I just, if I have ground beef, I have to have a real expensive, you know, one because it has to be really lean. And I can, and with the ground turkey, I can get away with getting a, a cheaper one and it's still not greasy. So that's what mainly drove me to, or us, to, to go to the, to the ground turkey. But, uh, I mean, it's hard to beat a homemade cheeseburger with ground beef. I, I wouldn't even try, I don't think, with ground turkey to make a regular cheese, you know, a nice cheeseburger at home. I think I would have to use ground beef. But, anyway, if I don't fix that, I might fix some, we've got some really good sauce. Um, we've got two up here. Let me show you one. Both of these are really, really good sauces. I might make some 
spaghetti or some type of pasta, uh, maybe even a casserole. I hadn't really decided yet. But this one here, this one is made by Prego. I got it on sale a while back at Food City. And it's their, they're like premium, premium sauce, I guess you'd call it. Uh, farmer's Market, this one's the roasted garlic. We had one other, and I can't remember which one it was. I think it was mushroom or something. It was fantastic. Real thick. And if I don't make this spaghetti tonight, if I make the meatloaf, I think like we'll have something tomorrow different. And then the next day we'll have uh, ground turkey again with something. So I'll probably make it one day. And here's the other one. This one is, uh, it must, it's the traditional, but it's Classico family favorites. It's very good too. Sauce makes a big difference. I mean, I, you can, I can take a cheap sauce and make it good. You know, add some diced tomatoes and things. I probably, if I may even put some diced tomatoes in one of these, but you can get a cheap sauce and make it better by putting your own spices and generally like an Italian seasoning and a little bit of extra garlic powder or something like that in it or some minced garlic. You can you can make it a lot better, but I like to start with a good sauce already. And if it's very good, I lots of times I won't do anything to it. It's so convenient. But um, the only thing that probably would be that I don't need is um, sodium because that'll make your blood pressure go up. But believe it or not, in a serving in a half cup serving of the Classico. There's 8% of your daily iron. That's good. 4% of your calcium. 4% vitamin C and 15% of vitamin A. But there's 420 milligrams of sodium, 18%, in a half a cup. Now let's see what this one's like. Well, they don't have a good nutrition. I don't like the nutrition facts that are sideways like that. I like the ones that are plain to read and I thought they had pretty much done away with the other ones but let me see uh, half a cup fat's not an issue with stuff like this it's not there's nothing hardly in it fat wise or cholesterol this one is 430 milligrams a little more sodium even not much more uh, a little fiber a little sugar eight grams of sugar versus nine grams in that and then eight where's the sodium did I say? oh 430 six percent of calcium and four percent of iron and eight percent of potassium now why would the potassium I wonder be different iron the the classico has more iron for some reason than the Prego. Now I'm going to start looking at stuff like that because I'm not absorbing vitamins well. Like if it's a tablet or something. If it's like a, a gummy, I do. So I'm going to start looking at things uh, when we buy them at the store and see if one has more iron and calcium than another. And now I know about that. That's surprising. Twice as almost twice as much from 4% to 8%. So that's pretty good. Well, I think that's about it. And I'll take a picture tonight of whatever I decide to fix. Just never know just how I feel at the time. It's not real late yet, but I need to get, I need to figure out what I'm going to do soon. But I appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate all my new friends and all my viewers that have been with me from the start. And uh, pre please press the like and uh, subscribe if you haven't. And hit that notification bell so that you'll get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody have a great Sunday. Spend some time with your, your family and eat dinner together if you can. I'm going to keep doing like I've been doing. Uh, we'll watch a movie or spend time watching something on TV. And turn all social media off. And 
put my phone to where I can't reach it. <laughs> and my tablet. But uh, I just need time with my family every night. And, and you know, that that's what everybody needs to do. It's hard to these days. I know. And you're, there's nothing wrong if you can't or anything. But um, it's real hectic anymore for everybody, it seems like, you know hard to get together all at one time so anyway everybody have a great evening and god bless bye bye